Hi everyone, Legia2510 here. Uh, today for you I have something else I got for Christmas uh, that I've had kept in the box. And this is Dumbledore's Cup. Now Dumbledore's Cup is something I have wanted for quite a while. This is just something that, I don't know if it was, this is the box that came in. Uh, I don't know if it was shown in any scene of the movie or it was background uh, prop, but uh, it's it's very, ornate, I can definitely say that, with the nice little design of a dragon. We're going to take a closer look in a second. Um, but the, I got this for Christmas from my mum. We were actually on the Hogwarts Express, the Jacobite train from, from Fort William in Scotland to Malik. Now, that train was about two hours long in the, for the journey. And it's the actual Hogwarts Express that was used in the films. And it goes over the viaduct. I took a video, I took a short video uh, that I uploaded um, if you if you saw that, and it's directly over the viaduct that the Hogwarts Express goes over in the film, and you actually go to from Fort William to Malig on the tr on the trip, and this was bought in the gift shop in Malig, uh, which has a Harry Potter gift shop, and there's at least two or three Harry Potter gift shops. It's this very small town on the very west coast of Scotland. Literally, it's the on the west coast. So if you look out for the west, it's just the ocean. It was on a harbour, the gift shop was on, and it's a beautiful town. Uh, there was about 200 people that got off the train, and we all swarmed this town. <laughs> with uh, We all just swarmed it for food and gift shops, and my mum saw this in the gift shop and said, do you want me to get this for your Christmas? I completely forgot about it until I got it on Christmas Day, and I was like, oh yeah, wow, I forgot that you bought this. So this is Dumbledore's Cup from Noble Collection, and it cost retail £90 on the website I last looked at and it's a simply gorgeous piece. It's very very tall. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the box as well and it's... Let me bring it round a bit. So the box itself has Dumbledore in the front and yeah that's basically it. Shows in the back. Measures 11 inches in height not to be used as drinkware. So. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I actually really like this and it's something I've wanted for a very long time. I hope it's gonna fit in my display cabinet. So I'll put it over here. So the actual uh, glass itself, it's got designs for a dragon right here and it's got stars, very Dumbledore-esque design and a purple gem in the middle here and something on the bottom, which is the same, I think it's the same design for the dragon and we're going to take a quick look at this just now. So I'm going to bring it forward a little bit. So, so the actual, uh, it's, there seems to be a purple gem with the stars. The stars remind me of, do you remember the first Harry Potter books, the British editions, that had those kind of stars all over it? Those stars remind me of that. Um, I just done the covers uh, a little bit. This bit here reminds me of like a cog. Very, very nice bit here and little spikes, maybe to look similar to a dragon, I'm not sure. Um, I don't associate Dumbledore with dragons though, I associate Dumbledore with um, Phoenix, with a Phoenix. But it's very cool to have a dragon on there, and nice little thing there, and it's the same design on the bottom as well. And so, if you can see that there. I wonder, is there anything on the underside? There is not, it's quite hollow on the underside. And it has the usual legal things, legal bits and pieces, and it has some rubber things here, some felt things here, sorry, to kind of uh, protect the surface, I guess, the surface. And that seems to be this the whole design of the thing going round. It's the dragon tail, dragon wings, dragon head, and on the inside there is nothing. Not to be used for drinkware, it said, so bear that in mind. It's a beautiful display piece. Um, it reminds me, because of the height, it reminds me of this Loghorn uh, Hourglass, which is one of my, also one of my favourite pieces. And I believe that should be in this display cabinet as well. I hope. And so, uh, yeah, so I, I really love this. And it was great to see all the Harry Potter uh, uh, bits and pieces that were in the uh, gift shops. Lots of things. I actually have a couple of the things that I got from there and one other thing I got for Christmas to show you, show you guys. And... Uh, maybe that's a different video, but yeah, uh, I just love it. And the journey itself was fantastic as well. Uh, we were in the actual compartments, the 
to first class compartments where you know it's the typical Harry Potter compartment, and it was brilliant. There was a table in the middle uh, which the films didn't have, but and someone did come along. There was a gift shop on the train, and we bought a bunch of things, souvenirs, fridge magnets, that kind of thing. And the journey was amazing. Uh, it was more, and the, the views you see as well. And along the train, you actually see the um, Dumbledore's, the island that Dumbledore was buried on in the films. You go past that on the train, and I took lots of photos of that. And there's lots of privacy in the train as well. So, but anyway, yes. I really, I don't, I don't think this is like solid purple. I think this is, this bit's hollow. And it doesn't seem to have anything inside of it. Uh, maybe to keep, maybe to help with the weight. Uh, that, that reminds me of the, if anyone remembers the Professor Umbridge wand um, that had the gem, the bead in the middle of it. It also meant that the Umbridge wands are very susceptible to snapping because it's just one bead holding the thing together. So if that breaks, then the whole wand breaks. But that reminds me of this a little bit. But this seems to be secure with these parts here, with the kind of spiked ridges, I guess. And the cogs along here, that's very cool. But... If any of you guys can remember, actually, um, any scenes that the film that this cup was in in the movies, let me know. Or if it was a background, a background piece, uh, I'd be very interested to know because I know that Noble Collection have sold this for a very long time, but I don't know if there was any scenes in particular in particular that he used it in or drank from. So uh, it'd be very interesting to find out. But uh, that's going to be it for me, guys. Uh, if you have anything uh, similar, if you have this, and if you know anything about this as well, let me know. But I love this. I, th I think it's great. And uh, it's definitely one for the dis displays. I'm just going to hide Groot there. He's very nosy today. And <laughs> uh, people say they like him, so I'll keep him in there. But um, yeah, that's great. Noble Collection sells this for £90 on the website, but... And I think I don't know if Noble Collection have any stock issues, but they seem to be running out of stock for a lot of things. They got the broomsticks back in stock for the first time in a while. I don't have any broomsticks. I would love a broomstick. Maybe that's that's something I'll get for my next birthday because I'm 29 now. I started this channel 13 years ago now. <laughs> so, wow. 13 years I've been doing this. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, again, like I said in my last video, uh, the Facebook page has been kind of getting pretty popular recently. Um, a lot of people have been finding me on there and liking the page, which is great. So uh, I post there whenever I put, whenever I get a new video or any news. New Fantastic Beasts film, uh, the trailer came out for that. I hope everyone saw the trailer, liked it. Uh, and that was a brilliant trailer. Looks a lot better than the second Fantastic Beasts a little bit. Um, so yeah. But I'm sure we're going to discuss Fantastic Beasts 3 when that comes out in the 8th of April, which is my daughter's birthday. So I might take her to see that in the cinema. Anyway, enough rambling. That is it for me, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoy looking at this, as I'm going to enjoy looking at this in my display piece, if it fits, display cabinet. And, uh, yep, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Right.